and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here so so lovely to have you i've just finished work shut my laptop and i thought i'd start filming a video this evening this vlog's probably going to be over a few days i thought i would film a bit of a homey vlog maybe do some home hauls i'm gonna do a bit of a diy project this evening which i'll tell you about in a moment today's video is very kindly sponsored by anna louisa so i was introduced to anna louisa probably like two years ago the pieces are absolutely fabulous if you've never heard of anna louisa before they are a jewelry company they're based in the us but they have shipping to the uk as well they are an affordable high quality jewelry company everything comes in the cutest little pouch i have a few new pieces to add to my ever-growing collection i love these little pouches they're so premium the first up we have this stunning pair of kind of small hooped earrings they're only very tiny little hoop they're like little sparkly diamond earrings but they're nothing big i don't wear like like big hoops but I also like to wear something that's kind of a little bit statement in my ear I get pretty much all my jewelry in gold it's just my personal preference but they do loads of silver items as well so it's just completely up to you I think these were actually one of the first pieces I got a couple of years ago and I've repurchased them because they are just so pretty and dainty I go with so many different outfits and for so many different occasions these ones are a little bit more dressy and bougie and a bit more like out of my out of my kind of usual comfort zone run like the little diamante hoop but then they have one little diamante hanging from it which I think is so pretty I'm gonna put these ones in now actually they're very delicate but they can easily be used to just like dress up an outfit a little bit even with like a jumper that's a very kind of casual outfit they still look so pretty I love them they're exactly my idea of something that's a bit dressier but nothing too much really love them think they look super cute and special and they'd make a great little gift as well maybe if someone's got like recently engaged or if it's their birthday or something or just treat yourself that's what i would do <laughs> and then i have this very dainty very pretty bracelet it's a little small thin chain and then it's got tiny little pearls on it and it's so nice i have to get chester to help me to put this one on properly because i am rubbish with the clasps that is just so pretty and dainty i also find with all the jewelry i've got from anna louisa when i pop it on i can shower in it i can just keep it on in general and it's fine it doesn't tarnish it's really resistant and wearing my collection is predominantly made up at the moment of anna louisa jewelry so many nice things and things that are like really my style as well and then i also got these little kind of I would call them like slim chunky earrings they are really pretty again something that's more like a little bit more statement but not too much yeah something that's a bit statement i feel like these will be so nice coming into the autumn winter with a big like chunky jumper a little kind of slim not too chunky hoop i just can't it's not that i can't pull off i always feel like just really out of my comfort zone when i'm wearing something that's too big or too chunky these are kind of like the perfect middle line they are a little bit chunky but they're still very slim nice rib detailing i just feel like all the jewelry looks very premium and expensive when actually it's a really relatively affordable price point in addition to that you can also save 20 percent off using my code that they've kindly given me i will leave the details on the screen and also a direct link in the description box if you would like to go and browse and have a look maybe treat yourself to some things get some things as a gift I am loving these little dangly ones. They look so pretty and special. So yeah, as I say, I'll leave the link in the description. You can save some money, get yourself some beautiful new jewellery pieces. Maybe you like some of the ones I've picked, but there's also a huge range to choose from and browse from. Hopefully you've made a lovely new discovery or you can top yourself up with some new jewellery pieces. For those of you that watch my vlogs regularly, you may have remembered that I kind of touched upon in one vlog that we had decided to sell our house and put it on the market. Basically to cut a really long story short, we decided to take our house back off the market and just stay put for now. There's a number of reasons really why we've decided to do that. We're having a few issues with the estate agents. We had issues with a buyer, someone we accepted an offer and then someone like pulled out of it and it was all just a bit of a mess. For anyone that's tried to sell a house or even if you've tried to buy a house or be in that process at all, it's so kind of emotionally draining. We were having loads of viewings, which was great, um, but just getting ridiculous offers. And I think that's kind of indicative of the current times. The interest rates are crazy. It's not really a seller's market at all. So we'd kind of made this decision on a bit of a whim anyway. And one of the main reasons was because we felt like we needed some more space with us both working from home. But actually it's been way better than initially anticipated. We're doing fine and we love this little home and it was always gonna be bittersweet. We've not been here for very long at all about 
18 months maybe now. So yeah, not long. We've only just really recently got settled. And I feel like we haven't spent that much time just enjoying the place. Yeah, it feels like it's the right decision for now. Take our foot off the pedal, have a little breather, and then we can reassess maybe in the autumn or winter or perhaps even next year and just see where we're at. You know, who knows? There could be a big change in position in that time and we might be in a completely different space and position to find our next place. Yeah, I've been of the mindset to try and tie up a few things that we are putting off but there's just a few little things like we don't really have any artwork up or pictures there's a certain obviously i'd like to think i've made it homely um but there was just a few things that were like missing and a few things that just need finishing off really let's say so we weren't going to put much more effort and money and time into the house we were like let's just leave it also buying new stuff when we were moving made no sense but now we're going to stay put for goodness knows how much longer probably a substantial period of time i'm very keen to just like tie off a few of these ends like i say nothing major really happy with the place in general so we got a new mattress not too long ago i think a little bit firmer at the minute whilst our bodies are like adjusting to it so i bought a really nice mattress top which is super soft just like a very small mattress top that i got it from argos i think it was so because i bought a mattress top that i thought i'd treat us to new sheets i bought us some new pillows king size pillows and so i thought i would treat us to all new bedding just to have a bit of a fresh start and clean slate with it i got a new fitted sheet We're looking for bed recommendations like the like duvet covers sheets and things that are relatively affordable these are the absolute bees knees these are so good i've repurchased so many times they're from denelm and they're the fogarty soft touch range so i got the fitted sheet for a king size bed which is what we've got they do come double and i think single as well and they might even come super king really low maintenance pop them in the wash let them dry and then they can just go straight on the bed i don't iron them or anything they're absolutely fine and then mega soft to touch i hate nothing more than like sandpapery duvet covers and i am obsessed with the duvet i love the duvet so the fact that it has something super soft over it imperative to me so yeah we got the duvet cover set as well this does come with two pillowcases actually but because we've now got king size pillows i won't need them but it just comes as a set so you have to buy it whereas before we had just this like standard size pillow and i use the pillowcases in this they're very soft i got those two from danelle i also bought this whilst i was at it so this is a reed diffuser makes a really nice gift actually the packaging is beautiful comes with some little white diffuser what do you call these reeds diffuser reeds it's not really got any branding on it but it's a really nice bottle ribbed bottle which is perfect for refilling as well yeah i haven't smelled it yet what does this smell cedar wood and cassius it doesn't actually smell that strong i was expecting it to be a lot stronger but hopefully when it goes into the reeds it will be so i'll pop this in now and obviously the actual vessel the ribbed glass that comes in is really nice so i can just refill that pop the reeds in it's really nice i think so i'm not sure exactly where i'm going to put this one yet thinking maybe the kitchen um, because it's so nice and then i've got one in the kitchen that i might swap into the downstairs toilet i did just refill this one as well i got this one from h&m home again nice rib glass but this was 17.99 that's quite expensive and this one from Dunelm was 12 pounds and i actually prefer this one I have a couple of these around the house this one was a christmas range i think i don't know if they'll still have it there is nothing like a nice smelly home and um, that is like really important to me i had candles reed diffusers all that jazz all over so yeah so that was all from denelm and then i got some bits from the range as well but i actually ordered online i don't know if that's really common knowledge but range the range have an online shop so yeah you can just order everything to be delivered to your home which is great i mean i love going to the shops and having a wander around b m and the range and home bargains and all those great shops i love doing that that's like one of my favorite pastimes to do but i'll show you in a minute some of the things i got it was actually easier for me to get them delivered i didn't think that this week even though i wanted to do it one night after work the little diy project that i'm gonna do i knew i wouldn't have time to go out to the shop this week after work so i recently got a speed mop first time i've had one i usually use a mop that i got from amazon it's got like a microfiber cloth on the bottom and it like sprays out a liquid detergent over the floor and then you mop it up but i've seen loads of good reviews about flash mops and i just thought that that would be so much more effective for the space we have just giving it a hoover around and then a quick zip around the little flash mop bought a starter pack which i would highly recommend if you want to try one out because you get the actual mop 
and then I think you get four wet wipes and six dry wipes. See, I was thinking the dry wipes won't do anything. They will just be a load of rubbish. But I gave it a go, followed the instructions, and they were amazing. My range haul, little haul that I did online, I picked up some more of the dry dusters. So dust magnets, and they're great. They attach just like the wet wipes to the mop, but they like lock in all the dust. So I used to literally go on like my hands and knees and like sweep up all like bits off the floor and like dust and stuff. These do it and they're a great first step to then follow with a wet wipe because you get like most of the dust and like dirt off the floor and then you can go around and actually clean it with the wet wipe on the mop afterwards. I'd highly recommend this. So this is a pack of 40. I'm sure they weren't that expensive. Then I got a couple of boxes of these which are actually so heavy. So this is a 48 wipes, so 24 in each. Again, by Flash, they are the Mrs. Hinge range. These are pink tulip and white jasmine. They're super thick, very, very like wet, wet wipes. The wetness of the mop lasts, if that makes sense, for a few rooms. They do need to be stored upright, but they smell delicious and I can't wait to start using them. I'm like, I only just mop the house. It definitely doesn't need mopping yet, but I'm kind of desperate. So maybe at some point I'll do a little cleaning segment of this video and you can let me know if that's the kind of thing you want to see a little bit more of a homey cleaning get your life together get your house together type thing i got a couple of bottles of disinfectant this is the astonish morning dew pet fresh not that i have a pet but concentrated disinfectant it smells really good and fresh and just like super clean i loot it put it neat down the sink sometimes i do with boiling water and it just like smells the whole house really nice so got a couple of those, I'm sure they're only like a pound or so. Then I got a top up of the pink stuff. I haven't had this for a while actually, um, but I saw someone on TikTok the other day using this to clean their oven, which I haven't actually tried before with a scrub daddy. Um, usually I get like an oven cleaning kit, haven't done the oven in ages and it's in desperate need of doing. I spilled some sweet chili sauce like all over the front, like front bit of the oven and it's gone all like sticky and gross. So it definitely needs doing. This is obviously super versatile cleaning product. You can use it on like bathrooms. You can even use it on like shoes, surfaces, stuff and stains. And then to my little DIY project. So I bought three. I actually thought I bought two, but I bought three of these canvases. And this is tonight's experiment, shall we say. No idea how it's going to go. But I'm going to try and do some DIY art for the wall. So I'm not particularly artsy i never have been but i do love a little craft and trying something out and i know it sounds like strange but just like you know pushing myself and like trying little things and if i see someone else doing something i'm like do you know what i can do that let's give it a go so i ordered all the things i needed which i will show you properly in a moment you can spread filler across and it makes a really artsy neutral design and i thought I was going to get a really big canvas and just put one literally on this wall behind me. But what I'm going to try is, I'm going to do three, I think. I'll see how it goes. Um, but the intention is to probably put two next to each other on the wall. Definitely coming along on this ride with me. I have no idea how this is going to go. It could be a disaster. But we're going to try it. We're going to see how it goes. What is the worst that can happen? It looks rubbish and I don't use them. They are A2 in size. So I'm hoping that two next to each other will be big enough. I'm going to put the TV on, put some Gossip Girl on in the background. I've started re-watching it. We'll see how this goes. I have no idea how it's going to go. Like with everything in life, you don't know if you don't try. So I'm going to set up my stall. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Let's see how this goes. season one still episode 15 been watching it a little bit in the background i got my equipment this is literally all you need i think you can paint them but i'm gonna go one step at a time and see how these look i'm acting like i know what i'm doing i don't i think you just soften the filler and then kind of spread it across like this let's see how this goes Well, 
looking pretty good this is kind of the effect that i'm going for and then it dries down um i'm just putting kind of bigger splodges on at the minute and then scraping them out basically um it's hard to show you with this hand because i'm right-handed but you can kind of just mold it how you wish i'd read online not to put too much on and um, because it just won't dry properly or it'll crack a lot um, so I'm trying to get a good balance between not putting too much on but putting enough on so it actually covers it But this bit so far is looking pretty good. I'll obviously play around with it a bit more and mould it until I'm happy with it But this little tool from Amazon is doing a good job so far Okay, I think I finished the first one what do we think? I think it looks good. It takes just a lot of like moulding and trial and error. But obviously I will need to let this dry and see how it comes out. But I don't think that's a bad first effort. I'd be a little bit more experimental with this one. I just kind of went like this in very angular little sweeps. I'll just have to see how it comes out and hopefully I haven't done it too thick and it won't crack. But it was a fun little project and I think Fingers crossed so far, it looks quite good. nice Jess is going out with his friends this evening so I'm just gonna have a night in I think I might finish off or attempt to finish off the canvases that I started the other night probably continue watching some Gossip Girl maybe some YouTube and do a little bit of painting before we went for food we went to m and because I had a click and collect order to pick up which is like the best thing ever because you can order through like m and clothing website you probably already know this but like you can order and then like it's usually next day or the day after you can just go collect it from your local store so it comes really fast it's free and it's really easy to return as well because you can just literally drop it off even at a food hall this was just a food hall not an actual clothing store very easy so i've picked up some stuff which i will try on and show you if anything's any good we did have a little cheeky shop we didn't really get much um and i know some things in m and can be good value but we spent £25 because I fell in love with this jute bag. And I've been actually looking for this bag for ages in m I've seen other people with it. <laughs> Sounds wild, doesn't it? Like living my dream adult life wanting an m and shopping bag. But yeah, I've really wanted this for a long time. And they've never had them in like our local store. But I saw them and I was like, I will snap you right up. So this was £5, which obviously isn't cheap. But if you remember to take it with you to the supermarket or just for like other little jobs, like a great little carrying bag. Yeah, I was super pleased with that. Chester treated me to it, which is very cute. This kind of thing that makes me happy. You can buy me a Louis Vuitton or you can buy me an M&S bag. I don't really care. I'm very, very happy. But yeah, we got a few little bits. I thought we could do a mini M&S haul. It's mainly just snacks and stuff. Yeah, I got the receipt. This was £24.65. Um, so this bag, obviously, as I say, that was £5. So we've got some of these strawberries. These are the red, British Red Diamond strawberries and they are like the elite creme de la creme strawberries they are so nice i might even treat myself to some of those tonight if not all of them just to got himself a pizza because i feel like he's going to come in and have drunk too much and he'll be hungry so he's got himself a pizza if he doesn't have it tonight he'll have it probably tomorrow for lunch we got two packets of these absolute beauties milk chocolate gigantic buttons they're huge and they're so good once they're open it's very difficult to stop 
and if I open one tonight I was like most of them will be gone and the chest will be sad so I was like we need to get two bags. Another little treat for me which I definitely did not need. I've had a big dinner and we've got loads of other sweet treats but this is a birthday yum nut. I've tried quite a few of their different yum nuts. The ones with raspberry, the ones with like billionaire I think they are and they've got like caramel and stuff on them and they're so good but this one has little birthday sprinkles on and it's so cute and yeah couldn't resist. In fact it was actually Chess that said you need to get that, that looks exactly up your street, I'm getting you that, so can't wait to try this one. These are just a staple, a fun fact about me, it's not really very fun, but I'm insanely picky about crisps, I basically don't like any other flavour other than ready salted, I also have a really funny thing about sharing them with people, I know it sounds so strange but it's just a weird fact about me, but these are delicious, I can obviously share with Chester. And they are so nice, little baked pretzel thins, so tasty. And then I got this, which has been going kind of viral, really. It's M&S have recently, it's probably a good few months ago now, but brought out cleaning range. You might have already seen all about it, but this scent has been going wild and selling out most places. I've not seen it very often. I think I saw it when it very, very first came out, before it went viral. Didn't get it because I didn't think it was a big deal. And then, obviously, once everyone starts sharing it and you want it, <laughs> you can't get it anywhere. This one is the Sandalwood and Bergamot detergent, basically. Liquid laundry detergent. Concentrated. Smells really good. I can't remember what it is a dupe for, but I think it's Santal 33. Um, I'll leave on the screen what it's a dupe for. Um, but it smells like a really expansive perfume. Had a little sniff. It smells so good. Um, and yeah, even Chester was like, get it, get it, get it. So I think it was five pounds or five pounds fifty for this. I love the bottle. It's really nice, like design. Completely sold. Spent ten pounds on a bag and some detergent. But here we are. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that little M&S haul. I love M&S. I love walking around M&S and buying all bougie food and top up on all your little treats. I mean, I love Aldi every day of the week. Don't get me wrong. But it's just nothing like the quality of M&S and like the stuff you can get there. It's just so yum and delicious. And also you'll have seen me unbox this, which is a new addition. I've actually got this little, I've just got all the washing up that I need to still put away, reality. But I've got this new bread bin. I got it from Argos. Been thinking for a while to get a bread bin. Again, that's another thing that we were like, is there really any point? We've dealt with one for, we've dealt with our bread bin for so long. Is there really a need to buy one when we're going to be moving? But now that we're kind of staying put, I thought actually it's just going to be so much neater than having like bread or crumpets or whatever we have like on the side. We really need somewhere to store it. So I got us a bread bin. I think it was £20 this. It's really nice. It, the lid just comes off. It's quite deep. I reckon you'd be able to fit quite a lot of stuff in there. Certainly enough for us. And yeah, I've got this little like cove area. It's a bit weird because it's quite angular. Our house is quite angular full stop really. Um, just next to the fridge. And I usually just have like bits and bats out and it always looks a bit cluttered around here. You know, just like washing stuff. I thought that looked really nice and I think it fits perfectly there. I might get something at some point nice. Maybe a little, I don't know what, but something maybe seasonal with the autumn coming up. Maybe like an autumnal little jug or I just don't know what but a little kind of display thing there just to I don't know judge up this corner a little bit because as much as it looks really nice and I think it goes super nice with the kitchen we didn't choose any of this it was just like this when we came we did repaint it this color um which it's quite dark in here at the minute because I haven't got all the lights on but I just think like this all ties in really nicely it's just really classic simple great little bread bin if you're looking for one
little bit more bits back um, and also bought me those lovely flowers which is so nice they're looking really gorgeous just in the kitchen it really just spruce it up there's nothing like some fresh flowers and we haven't had some in ages now i have had a couple of deliveries so i thought i could just show you these i thought i could just show you these they're more homey bits um so i feel like this vlog has kind of been very in keeping with home things and yeah i did a little bit of tidying around this morning in the kitchen but i'm gonna really work on having a good clean and tidy chester's been set with the task of starting upstairs hanging up clothes sorting the washing out that type of thing and i'm going to tackle downstairs i don't think this is particularly exciting um it's from dusk which is where i got two of the king size pillows from i also ordered this at the same time but it's coming back to order it looks like a towel but it's supposed to be a bath mat i don't know it's not the best mat bath mat i've ever seen it just looks like a little hand towel so hopefully that will do the job upstairs i do really like the color of it um but yeah it's like quite it's quite thin and flimsy it's literally just like a thin milk towel like almost like a tea towel hopefully this will go and stop us from slipping about on the floor when we get out of the shower and then i have a white company order which of course is like one of my favorite shops of all time it's just the most amazing shop and to be fair i love going to the shop and wandering around it's such they're such beautiful shops and yeah i just love a wander so the one in Leeds is really good actually, it's got an upstairs and downstairs, so it's actually really big. I don't often order online, but they have a sale on, so I ordered some bits in the sale the other day. And then I got these as well because I think I was saying I needed some new pillowcases for the king size pillows. So I'm hoping these are going to be good. They won't match the rest of the bedding exactly, but it's really hard to find king size pillows and I couldn't get them matching in the other bedding. Um, they are white with the grey piping. I'm going to get them out and put all the bedding in the wash in a moment. You get a pack of two, so I got four because we've got four king size pillows, even though I wouldn't, we don't necessarily need the piped ones on the front and the back, but like I say, because they're so difficult to find king size, king size slash super king size pillowcases, I thought I'd better go for these. They were very expensive on their own, well, what I would consider quite expensive. They were £36 for two pillowcases. So these added together is a lot of money for pillowcases, um, but they were in the sale. And I think both these together, I think they were expensive, so I think they're about, I want to say like £45 or £50 for the four pillowcases, which is kind of extortionate. But on Danone, they had some Oxford pillowcases and they were £16 each. So that is, I guess, just how much pillowcases are for king size pillows. So I actually, I actually felt like these were quite a good deal and like I'd got a little bit of a good deal out of them. I mean, I, I probably wouldn't have spent £36 on two pillowcases. Um, but yeah, I can't remember how much they were, but I think they had like 30% off them. They look like they're going to be plenty big enough. They are huge in fairness can't even get them all on the camera screen but they they're just white and then they have this lovely little piped single piped detailing really nice so what i'm going to do is pop all the stuff in the wash um including the new bedding that i showed the other day from donnell but i'll pop everything in the wash and then hopefully it will dry we can probably put it outside it's quite a nice day so hopefully it will dry and then we'll be able to make the bed maybe today if it's dry enough and we are going out this evening with my parents just going out for some food with mum and dad it's really nice we spend quite a lot of time with them love spending time with them so yeah we're just gonna chill probably go around to theirs for a bit and then um head out for some food yeah i'm not sure whether we'll have time this evening for it to dry and put it on but if not we'll do it in the morning we have friends coming over tomorrow that are visiting us our friends from birmingham jess and callum and a little baby i'm not sure who is coming but there may be a baby and a dog and obviously jess and callum but we'll see but yeah i'll get the washing in get that going and then i'm going to start on tidying so yeah let's get on with it do some cleaning have a bit of try and film it i don't often film these cleaning videos but hopefully it's good and you enjoy it gives you a little cleaning motivation inspiration yeah i'm gonna put some youtube on and get cracking <laughs>
dry cloths. So I don't know if you've seen these before, but they are the dry dusters. They're part of the flash mop. They literally just attach onto the flash mop like the wet wipes. So just pop it over the back, pinch it in at the front. These are an absolute game changer for basically any hard floor, tiled floor, bathrooms, kitchen I use it in. Just so good just to get all the dust. Otherwise I would go down like on my hands and knees and get. Now I can do it with this. It's very, very effective. This is definitely not that dramatic because I've already hoovered and it really wasn't that long ago that I mopped up but you can still see just from that little bit that's just where the carpet isn't. It still picked up quite a lot of like grime and dust and it's just so easy for getting into all those little tight areas too. I'm going to use this same pad for downstairs low. I'll do the floor in there first and then I'll just wipe down the surfaces. Groves, particularly when I've just recently done it, like in the last week, definitely built up dust quickly. These ones smell really good, but with the wet, and that should get like all the little bits that are actually marked on the floor and that don't get up with the dust and some extra dust and bits. Start in the bathroom and then I'll do into the lounge. So pretty gross. It's mad that I vacuumed, dry mopped, and now wet mopped. Hopefully, these floors are now sparkling clean. Floors are done. Then you just detach it from the little loops. You probably all already have one of these, but if you don't, I would highly recommend because they're fab. And then you can just dispose of that. And just to finish off in here, I'm just going to go around with some of the Fabulosa Cotton Fresh. This is really strong smelling stuff, so it's really good.
head out for some dinner at Nando's and we're going to a shopping outlet where there's like a range and um, there's a TK Maxx we might go in there definitely the range I want to have a look and see if they have some of their autumnal bits in and um, we've got some return to do and then we're gonna get some dinner so yeah I thought we'd do a little mini come shop with me and there might not be anything so Saturday all the good stuff might have already gone but we will have a little look and hopefully they'll have some nice little autumnal bits in lunch and just chill most of the day really just be really nice to see them and catch up and things but I feel like I'm getting into like the autumnal spirit like it's a bit warmer today to be fair I've got a jumper on this one's new actually from m and it's a really nice colour I feel like we're going for like a Sunday roast dinner I've got my knitwear on and I just feel like it's getting into those autumnally months now these are the new pillowcases by the way they are fab love them nice piping they fit perfectly on the king size pillows the bed all needs straightening out but i mean i have just sat on it um those are looking really nice need to find a way to like do these ever stand up does anyone have any tips of how you could get the edges oh that one did kind of stand up maybe you just have to go around and pull them up but if anyone has any tips of how to get those to stand up let me know you yeah, have a lovely day ahead can't wait for a big roast dinner just some chill time this afternoon and then i went to the range yesterday with my mum and chester we had a spontaneous little trip went to nando's as you will have seen because i did a little shop with me part but yeah i bought some things so yeah when we get back and we're done this evening i will do a range haul and show you the bits that i've got i'm excited to show you because i got some really good things they had amazing autumnal bits in this is the jumper i'm wearing i love this color it's like a moly mockery color from m and i think it was like 19 pound 50 this jumper so nice easy to throw on just got my amazon leggings on it's a really kind of chilled but relatively put together outfit absolutely love this color jumper it'll be here any minute so i'm very excited for a lovely day ahead i lose my breath whenever i see you you stole my heart what is it that 
Last night we ended up going to do some tree neutral collection orders at my mum's and then we spontaneously stayed for tea and had a game tonight and stuff so we didn't come back until late and then went straight to bed. Then I will show you through the stuff that we got from the range and I also got an Amazon order through yesterday so I'll show you those bits as well because they're kind of like mostly housey cleaning related things. I feel like it ties in all nicely. Such a lovely day yesterday. Lots of cuddles. Just like a really wholesome day. I just feel so like happy and wholesome when I've seen them and we spent the day with them. It's just so, so lovely. So dinner was incredible. Ate so much food yesterday but that's what Sundays are for, aren't they? So we're supposed to be having a quiet weekend. We didn't have much planned um, other than them coming up yesterday. Yeah, always the same. End up going from having a relatively quiet weekend to being non-stop all weekend. So firstly, I'll show you what I got from the range. I feel like this is a second range haul of this video because I got an online order. I think I said this before, like I love going into the shops and looking around. And you never get the same experience looking at stuff online as you do when you go into the store and the things they have and the stock they have and the displays they put on. So as soon as we went in, autumnal goodness and me and my mum were in heaven. I got a few bits. Um, I'm trying to be quite selective with what I buy. I know they'll be bringing more stuff out. And I also know I've got a lot of stuff like in the loft from previous years. So I want to buy stuff that I actually really like and will use and will use like year on year. So first up I got this very cute autumnal doormat. It says hello autumn and it's just such, it's such a nice design. They had a few different options but this one was by far my favourite. There was no question about it. Love the design. It is quite thin but we don't need anything big by our front door. Nice little autumnal edition and I think this was only three or four pounds, like really inexpensive. It's also machine washable. So I'm hoping that this will like last for years to come. Obviously when we're coming through in like the autumnal months, it might be muddy, treading, treading mud in and stuff. So it might actually get quite used. But if I can wash it, then yeah, hopefully it'll last a few years. They do actually have a picture down here of the three options. So there was one with sunflowers. Don't know if you can really see that, it's tiny. There was one with sunflowers, then a hello autumn one. And then another Hello Autumn one with one of those like little gnome gonk things. So this one was by far my favourite. First thing we both spotted, me and my mum when we went in, were these cute little knitted pumpkins. They are so sweet. I haven't actually opened them up, but they are just little mini knitted pumpkins. You get the grey, the white, and then this like rusty orange. They look really nice like as a display together, I think. We could split them up and put them like around the house in little autumnal displays, but I thought they were so cute. And again, these are really reasonable. I think they're about, again, three or four pounds. I'll open them up and show you. They are so sweet. Little tiny knitted pumpkins really cute and I think they're really good quality. These were sold in a more like expensive home shop. I don't think I'd bat an eyelid. So they're a really cute set of three. We both got some of those. And then maybe my favourite thing I got is this pumpkin season candle. It does have a candle in it, which I think is pumpkin spice scent. But to be honest, I was more bothered about the like aesthetic of it and the look and the print and everything. I just think it's so nice. I will probably burn this candle, but then once it's used, I'll use the actual like ceramic jar for some other purpose, maybe refill it with something, or I could imagine like just looking nice on the side with like some utensils in, or I'm not sure, but very kind of reusable purpose. And this was the last one in our store. So I feel like these are gonna be very, and probably already have been very popular. So if you want one, I would definitely run to the range and grab one while you can. I don't usually go for that very sickly, like pumpkin, vanilla-y scent. It's quite, it's not like 
massively up my street but it's a nice little thing to have obviously the whole aesthetic and design of this sold it to me i think this was about 4.99 from memory for like the autumnal bits they got they had loads of other stuff i showed you around so they had lots of other options but those are the things that i chose and then we've got a few little other miscellaneous bits so we've got some of these command hooks these are specifically for hanging canvases so obviously my DIY project that you saw at the beginning is ready to go on the wall. So Chester and I are gonna team up and try these out. I think they should be pretty easy. I could probably just do it by myself. There's just a piece of double-sided kind of tape really. Um, most of you have probably already used command strips before, but you just put them on the back of this hook and then the canvas just kind of hooks over this. Seems like a really nifty thing. I got the jumbo ones that came in jumbo and like a slightly smaller size. Could just get command strips. I thought these would be perfect for the canvas, seeing as though it's specifically a canvas. So we'll try those out. Maybe they're gonna go on this wall here. We might do that this evening. I'll see once um, Chester's finished off with his work bits, if he wants to do that. And then I just got some more microfiber cloths. They have loads of pink stuff in, and I think it's all kind of brought on by Barbie, obviously. Like, it's just a big pink phase at the minute, and I am not mad about it, because I love a bit of pink. They had like pink washing up bucket type, you know, like a mop bucket. They had pink one of those, really nice, like shade of pink as well. I think they had like a really nice pink dustpan and brush. And they're obviously on the pink hype at the minute, and good to them, because it's great that like brands are getting on board. I think it's really fun, and I mean, you don't wanna miss a beat, do you? but they have these microfiber cloths, which obviously any old microfiber cloth, generally speaking, is good. I did get some really inexpensive microfiber cloths from, I've forgotten the brand, I want to say like Power, I'll Google what I mean or have a look at what I mean, but they are fine in terms, they're fine in terms of actual microfiber cloths, like they do the job of wiping stuff down, but they leak color, like colored dye from the microfiber cloths, so like pink, purple, yellow, and, so I left one in our bathroom sink and the colour just like seeped out of it, kind of like semi-stained the basin. So I've been scrubbing that and I think it will come off eventually. But I've not experienced that before with microfiber cloths. Don't know if that's common knowledge, obviously with the coloured dye, but you'd hope when using like chemicals and sprays and things like cleaning products, even just water, like every time you squeeze it out, not only just like obviously the dirt that you've wiped away come out, but all this like colour from the microfiber cloth comes out. So I wanted to kind of like buy some that were a, perhaps a more premium trusted brand, like cleaning brand, and hopefully this, this isn't going to happen. But these are such nice colours, so pink, grey and white, perfect little colour palette, love them, so couldn't resist. So that was everything from the range. I'm not going to be starting to decorate for autumn just yet. We are still in summer. It's not quite time. I think I'll wait till like the beginning of September to do that. So we'll probably maybe put those in the loft for now or find somewhere to store them. I've got some other bits as well from Amazon, like I was saying, which I will quickly run through. So in terms of cleaning products, I got some of these, which are these moisturising rubber gloves. I have heard rave things. A couple of creators I watch have been raving about these. Not tried them before, but they are deluxe moisturising gloves. They're from Lakeland, but I just got mine via Amazon. You can probably buy them from Lakeland themselves. They're white, which is a nice colour and it says they're great for sensitive skin, they've been dermatologist tested and they're supposed to moisturise your hands at the same time as doing the washing up, doing the cleaning. So I do have some nice pink washing up gloves. I thought I'd get a pair of these as well, they were only inexpensive. Then I got a dish daddy. I actually got a set of a dish daddy and a scrub daddy. I needed a new one of the scrub daddies just for the sink. Our other one is falling to pieces. So to do like the uh, washing up and things. But this is apparently called a style edition. It's just gray. Usually I go for like a pink one or something a bit brighter. Yeah, scrub daddy, scrub mummy, those kind of, that kind of branding. These are the best. If you don't have one, they are so effective incredibly effective and they last a really long time they're really durable with other sponges i'd use it for like a week and it'd be stained and 
all the kind of scouring powder be gone these last a really long time and super effective at like scrubbing off stains cleaning the pans and stuff using it with the pink stuff that kind of thing so i thought i would try not tried this before but i thought i would try the dish daddy which is basically like a dish matic but it's the scrub daddy version so it comes with the handle you insert the washing up liquid at the bottom and it just back on also I thought this would be good for you know cleaning down the surfaces and things just anything really but um, washing up as well so yeah got those as a set can't remember how much it was maybe like six pounds eight pounds I'll leave everything linked below that's available by the way if you're ever looking for a link nine times out of ten I'll have left it in the description if I haven't left it in the description drop me a message on Instagram or leave me a comment and I'll fix it or send you the link and finally on the scrub daddy high I got one of these which is a damp duster these are so good I've been seeing these all over TikTok I bought my first one maybe like a month or so ago a bit more than a month ago I got a pink one but this time this one was so cheap on Amazon they had like all the colors and you know Amazon prices can massively vary and I think this one was about two pounds and the other one was about five and I was like I'm not spending three extra pounds for the sake of it being pink so um, yeah, I've got this cute little bright kind of turquoise blue colour. These are basically to wipe away dust, really. Um, but they just are a really effective cleaning sponge. I use it in the shower. I wipe down like the tops of the toilets. Uh, sides, it's good for window sills, just anywhere that collects dust. You know, sometimes when you go and like with a spray or microfiber cloth and it all just you kind of spread the dust all around and it's really annoying. This doesn't, it have these like ridges and it collects all the dust and then you can literally just wash it away under the tap. They have to be moistened, ew. They have to be pre-moistened to be effective. It comes pre-moistened. I'm not saying that word again, no that's enough of that but once you've used it and you leave it on the side it will go like rock hard so you just have to run it under the tap for like a few minutes for it to all go soft again and then finally I've got a couple of like clothing -y bits from Amazon I'm kind of just obsessed with Amazon and buying stuff but one of my favorite things and you will have seen me talking about these all the time if you follow me over on Instagram they are literally the best leggings in the world um are these leggings i just got another pair in the black they're by the brand crazy i always well it's crz yoga but i always think crazy yoga but it's probably not that crz yoga and um, they are really stretchy but still like super fitted have a tiny little emblem on the back so nothing really visible and usually i wear mine with jumpers but to be fair i wear them with blouses with blazers i wear them all the time they suck you in they're really high-waisted um, they've got like a super thick waistband they're true to size I would say um, but they do have stretch but the first time you put them on they're obviously much tighter and as you kind of wear and wash them they they suck me in every time I wear them though they don't lose that but they do become a little bit looser than perhaps the first time you put them on they come in tons of colors and patterns but I have a lot of like the block colored ones I have black I have navy I have gray i think it's ink gray the color like an olive green i think it is um, but there's loads of different colors but i just try to choose ones that go with a lot of my color palette jumpers blazers that kind of thing so black navy and the ink gray are probably my most worn pairs highly highly recommend those and then i got some of these bras to try no idea what they're going to be like i got the pack of three which three black bras like this and they're just supposed to be kind of super soft but still like they've got a bit of a cup in them no wiring but they're a little bit of a cup so they're just supposed to be nice and soft and supportive and i just thought they'd be nice and comfy with my leggings working from home and going on walks or whatever just a little bit more i do actually really like bras that i've got on from m s but i just thought i would try some little tops rather than more of like a classic bra style so yeah these came in a pack of three and they always come in a nice little zip bag so you'll see how i get on with those
popping on again to end this video and to remind you to take advantage of the discount code I've currently got with Ana Luisa. Go and check some of the pieces out, treat yourself to some, have a little browse. They have so many beautiful pieces. As I say, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go and claim your 20% discount if there's something that you love on the website. So I'm gonna close this video off here. Really hope you've enjoyed these kind of past few days. I feel like I've done lots of different stuff, showcased lots of bits, big hauls, little hauls, cleaning bits, some kind of like different stuff that I haven't done before or done in a while. Really hope you've enjoyed this video and seeing like the different things that we've got up to, um, some new homey bits and just like a bit more of a chilled everyday kind of vlog. Um, we've been away obviously a lot recently, the past few vlogs have been lots of holidays and in fairness I think just with this like weather in general and now we're getting like on in August I just feel like it's dare I say just becoming like very autumnal and very cozy and I feel like the the summer holiday vibe is is disappearing slowly and we want this like cozy comfort season to arrive so maybe this video has been like a little glimmer into that my next video is going to be a b&m haul i'm gonna have a big b&m trip I hopefully buy lots of nice things there's a few things that i need i've got a list of things that i would like to get and yeah i know this has been a really really long video so thank you so so much for watching thank you again to anna louisa for sponsoring it i really hope that you find some pieces and love them as much as i do and i upload every single sunday so i would absolutely love for you to join me hit the subscribe button Button, give this video a like if you have enjoyed it and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. See you soon!